Hey, before you get started tying this um, pumpkin head, right? And I personally like calling it the pumpkin seed. But um, anyhow, before you get started tying it, every time I've ever come to Canada, there's only one fly you have to have in your box, and it's a must, and that is the Doc Spratly. My dad used to always tie it just uh -huh. with the black body, right. silver ribbing. But now I see there's so many other patterns out there, red bodies, olive bodies, you name it. You go into a fly shop, yep. there's bins and bins of different var of, of variations of the Spratly. That's right. But when we ran, we used it, and we caught fish on that Spratly. Right. But when we found this pattern, man. Hands down. This, Hands down, this. the best fly I've ever used in Canada. Yep. So why don't you get started and show the people how to tie it? Well, we're going to take a, a marabou feather. We're going to kind of dress it down here a little bit. We don't need all of this. And you've already got the bead on the fly. We've got the bead on the fly. And these you can get these at a craft store. It's just an orange bead, and it's coated on the inside with silver. Okay. Well, it's not on the fly. It's on the hook. So. On, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fly it's yet. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Okay, and I'm using mono. Uh, I tied these with mono. I've tied them with black thread. Now, I'm thinking, really, David, that they're keying in on the bead. I think yeah. the bead is the key to this fly. And what I... Because I, originally, when we first saw this pattern, it we saw it tied with an olive hackle. And that's how we tied most of ours up. And then the other day... We ran across the originator mm -hmm. of this pattern, and he ties it with a dyed grizzly. And he dyes it tangerine. Tangerine. Now, I didn't have any tangerine, so uh, we're using an orange. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I really feel that it's the bead that, that gets their attention. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to tie this in Palmer style. Now, what size hook are you using there, Willie? We're again? using a number 10 wide gap. A wide gap is, is so we can get that, slide that bead around the band. Okay. Because uh, you get a package of 50 of them, there's going to be probably 15 in that package that you're not going to be able to to use. Yeah. I know we struggled getting the beads on a lot of these flies. and Yeah, that's because so of the holes. Sometimes the gaps are a little different, yeah. and sometimes the hole's a little different on the bead. Okay, now a lot of times I just wrap this around the hook, but for this fly, I kind of just pull the feather down, the, the marabou. And that gives it the... Um, a real nice body look, right. yeah. And so we'll get it right up to the end here. And you see how, how that's kind of fuzzing yep. out there? Yep. Okay. Let's cut this. Hey, hey. it really takes shape now. It's such, a, such an easy fly, yeah. fly to tie. Yeah, okay, now in between steps, I like to just put a half hitch in. Yeah, hold things down. Yeah, and for this, what we're going to do is, is I like wrapping our hackle using the... Uh, Okay, we're gonna. Oh, rotary vice. Rotary vice. Oh, doggone it! Well, put it back on, Willie. That happens. Show people how you do it. Just put it back on there. Yeah. Long day on the water filming. Long day on the water filming. And and the way we we film this show is, I was in my kick boat, the kick boat cam, and I actually followed David around. And he got so tired of listening to me tell him, left, right, left, a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the right. But we got the footage, and that's what counts. Okay, now we're back again. There you go. So we're... Now that's called Palmer method. And the Palmer... Yeah. You, do you always start the Palmer from the butt end? Yeah. Now, also, I use a saddle on this uh, if I was going to be, uh, which it didn't seem to matter. Nah. Uh, uh, he ties it with a, um, a dry fly mm -hmm. hackle. That's a beautiful looking fly already. And this fly works. You know, I think it might work in some of our local lakes, will it? Yeah, um, I'll try when we get home. I, I think it might. Uh, it, it's it's certainly uh, worth the try. 
And there you have it. Good job. Well, I tied a bunch of these for us. Yes, and, and uh, they all worked. And they all worked. And they all got chewed up. And they all got chewed up. Mm -hmm.